Volume is the amount of space within an object or the capacity of that object if we were to fill it completely to the top. You may already know that the formula for volume of a right prism is length times width times height. We're basically taking the area of the base and then multiplying by how many layers we can stack. So as you can see on isometric dot paper here, I have my one cubic unit and we're going to fill the first layer with those units. If for example, we happen to have a base that's eight units by two units, if I take my one little cubic unit, we can see that we're going to fit eight, times two, 16 of those cubic units along my base layer on the bottom. And then I didn't draw them all in here because it gets kind of cluttered, but hopefully you can see that we're gonna then stack a second layer of 16 cubes, blue cubes on top of the green cubes. And then we could stack a third layer of red cubes. So we're gonna get 16 cubes per layer. If there are three layers, 16 times three is going to give us 48 cubic units. So it's the area of the base times the height if we have a prism, something with rectangular sides. A right cylinder is very similar, where we're looking at how many cubic units are going to fit along the base, and then how many layers are we going to have. So we're taking the area of the base, because it's a circle, we can find the area by going pi r squared, and then we're multiplying it by the height. How many layers are we going to stack for those cubic units? So we're going to take a pyramid and compare it to a cube, which is just a square prism. Both objects have the same height as well as the same area of the base. Now in actuality, my pyramid is a little bit smaller than the cube, but we'll get the idea as to what happens. So we're going to fill up one of the pyramids with water and we're going to pour it into the cube and we're gonna try not to lose any. Now I wasn't able to quite fill it to the top and I did spill a little bit as I was pouring it in, but you'll be able to get the general idea. So there is one pyramid going into the cube. You can predict how many do you think it will take in order to fill it up. Now the base of my cube was a little bit larger than the base of the pyramid and I also spilled some water, but we can see that three of those pyramids will fill one of those cubes. So if we take the formula to find the volume of a right prism and then take a third of that, it will give us the volume for a right pyramid. And it's the same concept when we compare the volume of a cone to the volume of a cylinder. So we know the volume of a cylinder, we're finding the area of the base, that's pi r squared, and then multiplying by the height. If we have the same base, then the cone is going to have a third of the volume as the cylinder does. So we're finding the volume of the cylinder, taking a third of it, or dividing by three, and that will give us the volume of a cone. And finally, the volume of a sphere can be found by using the formula 4 pi r cubed divided by 3, or 4 thirds pi r cubed. I'm going to actually link a video below in the description box if you want to see where this particular formula comes from. My graphic computer skills are not that good to be able to demonstrate this all for you, so I'm just going to link a video below.